I'm starting out with a crumb cake card base, and this is gonna be a four by four square card. So my card base measures four by eight, scored at four. Got a little four, four inch square card here. And we're just using one set for this card. This is the Perfect Pennant set. This is from the Occasions Mini Catalog. I'm using this awesome solid heart and this cute little hello banner. going to be stamping this in real red ink. Get out a little piece of scratch paper here. And I'm just going to stamp um, up the left side. This uh, normally, if you watch my videos, you know that I would use a stamp on a jig for something like this. But this stamp is actually pretty easy to line up. Um, if you have this set at home, be careful. I find that it tends to get some ink along the side of the stamp right here. So I'm gonna start off the card a little bit. Again, make sure there's no ink on there. There was, both times. And then I'm just gonna try to line that up. You can see it's pretty easy to line up. Trying to create even spacing as much as I can. My real red ink pad is really dry. That's why you see me inking this up pretty aggressively. Okay, there we go. Okay, now I'm gonna take the little hello banner. Get out a little fit on that. A different block for that one. Okay. And I'm just using a scrap of very vanilla cardstock. Get my scratch paper out of here. And my chocolate chip ink. And I'm going to take my paper snips and I'm just going to cut this out. I'm not leaving a border. I'm cutting it, oops, I missed. Cutting it right along the edge of the stamped image. Okay, so there's that cut out. And I'm going to adhere that using some snail. Kind of to the base of one of these hearts, just like that. Okay, now I'm gonna create a little embellishment. I'm using, this is from the Itty Bitty Punch Pack, um, this little sort of flower image, and some uh, summer star fruit cardstock. Just punch out one of those. And you can create really good dimension with these teeny little flowers if you just kinda scrumple them up in your fingers and keep going until you kind of see the cardstock, the layers that make up the cardstock kind of come apart at the edges and that will create, it'll look like it's layered. Um, that'll create some really nice dimension. So there's that. And now I'm gonna take a little bit of linen thread. I'm just gonna tie a bow. Trim off the end. And now I'm just going to go ahead and adhere these to my card using some glue dots. These are mini glue dots. Okay. 
I'm just going to kind of pick one up with the tip of my scissors. Come on. And put that right in the corner of my little hello banner. And stick my bow down to that glue dot. I'm going to take my little flower and put another glue dot on the back of that. And stick that down right over the knot of my bow. Okay. And I'll take one of these teeny little pearls. I'm going to pick that up with the tip of my scissors as well and put that in the center of the flower. And then you can kind of get that great dimension back, fluff that flower up. And that is my finished card. Simple as that. So here is my finished card. Super simple, super cute. Takes no time at all to make. And um, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you have any questions, let me know. And until next time, thanks for watching and happy stampin'. Bye-bye.